what's going on YouTube it is Lance Awake and today is new saddle day so I just got some new shoes and uh, I'm trying to uh, outfit this with the best and uh, lightest materials available I'll try and get a very well oiled efficient climbing machine for my tarmac expert uh, disc bike stock C is a toupee expert gel and it's supposed to weigh in at around 221 grams. I'm going to uh, try out the S-Works Power Arc. This saddle is uh, definitely a lightweight. It's got the fact carbon uh, seat rails. And unfortunately, these are uh, the seven by nine millimeters, so seven wide and nine millimeters tall saddle rails. And so you actually need um, some additional hardware so if you didn't buy your s work seat post um, which would come with both clamps you actually have to buy uh, both clamps uh, that come with uh, this package so $35 at your local uh, specialized dealer or online to get both uh, compatible seat rails for round or hold. I mean, my former saddle was a physique Antares double zero. Um, I've done uh, some big rides with this and it's proved to be definitely decent as far as uh, the padding level and as far as weight goes, this thing is uh, just amazing. Um, very light saddle. Nothing, you don't give up anything with uh, the double zero carbon braided saddles here. So today, it is weighing at 140.2 arc. One forty two point eight. So just a couple grams, uh, but a very, very light saddle indeed. Um, it's got a three, three centimeter shorter nose. And uh, a lot of us aren't really sitting on the nose portion of the saddle. So, um, Maybe I really won't notice that. We'll see what happens. But I really wanted to uh, try to cut out uh, the soft tissue relief I really need. Um, and then on a scale, apparently this is a two as far as the padding level is concerned. Um, and also this is the 143 millimeter wide saddle. And I'm not sure, um, which one has the uh, padding level of one? If you guys know, you can comment in. But um, I really know already that the toupee actually doesn't meld well with my sit bones. I feel it um, in the beginning of each ride for uh, probably the first few miles that my sit bones are just like, <laughs> it's like some serious point loads in here that are um, fighting me and resisting me. Uh, as far as the, the channel is concerned, um, I don't really notice what's going on there, but uh, as far as the back end here where my sit bones are, it's it's not compatible. So I'm gonna try to change this out. Um, there is the S-Works Power Saddle without the Power Arc. And apparently uh, some users commented uh, that the wings that come out, they would get a lot of chafing and uh, a lot of rubbing on their thighs when they really put the power down so power arc was recommended to me and i will give it a whirl so let's take a little bit of a look at it check out that beautiful carbon layup and um it's got the branding on there the s works and the fact and there's some uh, guides there where you can set it up. Take photos of your setup just in case you need to uh, swap. This also has the uh, swap style um, features. So you can actually screw in uh, a tail light or uh, road bandit, which would hold your tube and CO2 and stuff, stuff like that. So if you really want to go with some clean, lines on your jersey and don't want to be uh, bothered with a tube in your back pocket you can have it nice and tidy on here without some uh, some really 
ugly saddle bag hanging off the back of your uh, your tarmac or your whatever specialized bike you might have. But I plan on uh, probably hanging the tail light on here when I'm uh, when I know I'm going to be riding late. Um, and then if I'm doing a strictly all day ride, I might grab a road bandit and hang my tube off there just for uh, very clean lines. Uh, aesthetic is important to me. Um, but let's give the saddle a whirl. And it seems like I'm losing probably close to, let's say, um, what's that? 60 grams. No, oh, I'm sorry. 80 grams off the stock saddle. So close to 80 grams. So really liking that. I'll weigh that at the end and I can do the calculation for you guys. All right, guys. And here is a little tag on the saddle showing how to uh, set it up. So whatever the stock position of your saddle is that you like, um, you'll line up the rear end of the new power saddle and set that up. It should be about three centimeters off the nose of the other one. So I'll probably, what I'll do is I'll probably mark my saddle, the rails, where it sits on the rails, flip the seat over and line it up here and just kind of get a line of sight vertically on where the rails would actually sit and try and line it up like so and maybe take some uh, some measurements to dial that in and of course um, subject to adjustment on a few rides okay time to uh, take off this toupee just gonna mark the rails with a little pencil lead so as not to damage or uh, permanently mark anything but it does provide a very, very clear picture as to uh, where it lines up. Then I can just uh, line up the saddles back to back and uh, or actually uh, rail to rail and um, mark the position on the new rails and include those new uh, cups for the oval, oval rails. And we're gonna be using a five millimeter Allen key. Just gently leaving the pressure off there. It's extremely snug. Let's see what the manufacturer's torque is. But it's a one-sided, uh, which makes it uh, very easy to perform some saddle adjustments fore and aft, whatnot. But we're gonna take this all the way out. You can see the two halves there. We have to reuse the center, so I don't know why I'm putting them together. Here. Oh, okay. Actually, comes with a uh, new center bolt. However, this one is not pretty. It's uh, in the stainless color. So, go ahead and undo that. snug down to where I can't even relieve it since it's not in the rail itself or uh, in the saddle shaft seat post okay with the clamps off we can just uh, gently remove the saddle and take the uh, right and left sides out so 
Got the old alloy clamps and let's swap them out. Here is what the carbon clamps look like. And it looks very similar, so we'll just uh, give it a whirl. See what happens here. Okay. So it'll sit on like so with a carbon rail sandwich. You can see there. Okay. Go ahead and mark my C post. So here was the method I was envisioning, is lining up the two back ends of the saddle, like so. And here was the method I was envisioning for um, being able to line up the position without too much trial and error. Line up the uh, tails of the saddle and then just uh, mark on my seat post. So the back or the front would actually be the back. And let's see if it kind of shows up here. And then the back would be the front on the back. Sorry, shows up. Let me see if I can get there. I can distinctly make it out, but it's uh, very hard to see on camera. And let's just get a weight. Toupee Expert Gel. 238.9. And I'm going to uh, tear that off. And let's just see what the weight savings is for the Specialized Power Arc S-Works version. 96.4 grams saved. And just to remind you, if you're skipping along in the video, the weight is 142.4 grams. Pretty, so pretty. Let's get it on. BDL1, general all-purpose lube. Grease, not loop. Oh no, round wheel. Put the smash in there. And the arrows will line up. So. It's loosely fit, both sides. Right now she won't fall out. And insert the seat. Try and hide that floor. And I'm definitely gonna have to uh, adjust the final position of this on on the ground with the wheels on, but in my stand here. Let's see if I can get some uh, and tightness applied. Okay, there she is. Just hand tight. I'm gonna throw the wheels on and adjust the final position, but she's looking darn good. And uh, might take a little bit use getting used to the uh, shorter seat, but shoot, I'm kind of liking that. I'm very anxious to try it too. 
Okay, and there she is. So I've got that S-Works power arc on there. And I'm still getting in shape a little bit, so I'm working on my flexibility and my core strength, so haven't yet slammed the bars. I'm, I'm ready to take it to another space or down or so. I felt myself um, hanging out way more in the drops than on the hoof, which is uncommon for me. So I'm um, really liking uh, the bike so far. Yeah, I'm sure to you guys it looks pretty funny because I got a really small inseam, but the bike just fits me so well. So, all right guys, that is my look and installation of the S-Works Power Arc Saddle. Take a look at that cutout. Very, very short, three centimeters short on the nose. And um, hopefully I can fit some uh, some of the SWAT um, accessories someday. That would be pretty fun. Give it that clean look. Thanks for watching, guys. So you have it in one place. They're saying this is the range of the clamping area and there is the specified torque, 120 inch pound feet, 13 and a half Newton meters. And sorry for you guys who are extreme Clydesdales, 240 pounds is the weight limit.